Hello YouTube, hello Twitch. Continuing off where I left off last part for YouTube and for Twitch. We're doing the Prisoner of Ice mission. We're running with the, honestly the A-team. It's Panda, Eric Campbell, Carl, Warhead, Schnell, Icobot, Yaya, and See You Fail. I can't remember doing this mission before, I have to be honest with you. Was this what unlocked the, the terrible people that I hated? I can't remember what they're called. Like the little spider people. That ruined the last season. Because if this is the case, maybe I should never have done this mission. I suspect though that they would have just come regardless of me doing this or not. Uh, other things just to remind you of, we did our first colony of this season and it went perfectly fine. I was a fourth against the pure who were like heavily armored. I don't know, the mercenaries or the part of like a fractured group of Anu or something. They were brutal. I really cannot deal with armor particularly well. So, I mean, I, I don't know what the best way forward is. Probably trying to recruit a few more heavies for shredding purposes. But it, it's really weird. But if I, I, I always compare this to XCOM because they are so alike in many ways. Typically, XCOM doesn't throw too many heavily armored units at you from the get-go. This game, they don't give a shit. They just yeet the heaviest armoriest people at you. Like this guy. <laughs> this guy's pretty heavily armored. All right, so there's a heavy, an assault. Oh no, he's a heavy and a heavy, sorry. I tell lies and truths. The data is over there. Okay. Okay. Panda. Not actually any good jet jump opportunities here. Hmm. A scuffed start already? I could just jet jump in there and war cry to reduce their actions so they can't do anything. I think that might be my play. Because I, I don't really have a better option right now. Or maybe I take this tree because he's still probably not going to do anything. Or I go on the flank. I need to be more careful with Jet Jump though. I just kind of send Panda into the back line and just pray that he lives. I really can't get a good sight line on this guy. What a stinker of a start. We did learn as well in the last episode that we can shred with the pistol shots from Yaya. Okay, let's start making a move. Found an assault. Uh, let me hold off on that move. <laughs> it's a little bit aggressive now because he can definitely flank and shoot me in the side. So I think we're going to take the half cover instead. Oh my god. Alright, this is hell on earth. I think we play very cautiously. And or just jet jump panda into there and do a shout. I think panda shouting might be the play now because it ruins both of you. Doesn't really mess with you too much though. Alternatively, I can do the old XCOM thing of just sitting back here and waiting for them to come to me. But from my experience of this game, I feel like the AI is just willing to take the long range shots and just play the odds game. And they typically beat me on the odds game.
Your sniper isn't particularly well armoured. If we can get shots on the sniper, then we might be fine. Oh, it's horrible. What a horrible, horrible start. I, I, maybe I take this move and go on the flank. The pistol shot's not going to be that important. Also, what is your thing, by the way? Ah, you've got the attacks from enemies close range. Like, that's not cover as well. Like, there's such bad cover over here. Maybe Carl just goes here, so that's taking pot shots from a distance. You don't see the sniper anymore. It's the sniper that scares me the most. Aiko doesn't have a sniper rifle. My bad. <laughs> He's still got an assault rifle. And he knows how to use it. I've also got two other snipers on the mission, so it's not the end of the world. Maybe I just run these two guys up. If I could get onto the roof, I think I would take this. But I can't. That's not cover. Oh, panda, 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 panda. Could run you into here. But you're going to get flanked from this guy. Man, maybe I just put some people in the flank here. Panda can get the jet jump in next turn. And get to the roof. Ico, I think I'm going to put over here. See you fail. Can take the half cover. I'm a bit concerned about you, though. Because this guy can see you. So I think I'm going to try and take the shots in the sniper. We missed. And now I think I'm going to do a... Oh, I can't do the overwatch because you've used all your actions. All right, I think then you step into total cover from the sniper. Right, Eric Campbell. I have actually no idea what I want to do with you. Maybe I pull you over here. Like, it's such a bad shot. I guess we overwatch in case someone runs at us. And we'll just take this shot because you're close to me. Right into the fence. Great first turn. And an Ico, you also should do a little overwatch. I doubt they're going to come around this flank, but maybe they do. Right, what are you nerds going to do? The heavy stepped out. But can't do anything. Overwatch. Ooh, the sniper went really aggressive. You're crazy. You have a shot? No. Okay, he's just insane. And I will take that. All right. This sniper must be dead. They're just simply crazy. Heavy, can I remove some of your armor before I do that? We do have Shredder. And he's pretty close to be able to do some shredding. I think I can do it on a dash. Oh my god. All right, Panda's going to have to save me. That that's fine. Panda can save me. Let's do this. 
Armor break. And swing. <laughs> Brilliant. 60 bleed. You're dead. Okay, panda. Panda, panda, panda. You're going to do a little jet jump, my friend. And... You're going to do a shout in the middle of these guys. There's actually another guy here as well. I do appreciate Panda's not in cover, but no one near him can shoot him right now. Except this guy. And wherever the other assault went. Nice. Missed the railing this time. I think you just chill for a second. Ico might as well just take this shot, I think. It does so little, though. It basically does nothing. So maybe Ico moves up here and goes for the assault instead. Right, let's see what you say. I, I can live with this. I think we do some quick aiming, take a double shot. Because this is like the only guy now that's a threat on the next turn, I think. Disable his arm. And I missed him. Really would have liked that second shot. Oh well. Either way... Can you fire this with a disabled arm? Because I didn't think you could, but... It's showing that it's still on here, and he's still Overwatch, so... Maybe he can. Okay, and now we have... You as well. I don't love this. It's going to do like no damage. We damaged the gun. I really didn't have anything else to do though. Right, Shredder, I'm hoping you will just keep killing all of these heavies. That is your new job. This guy's running, which makes me think that he can't use his gun anymore. Uh, excuse me? Where have you come from? <laughs> Why am I fighting a disciple of Anu Berserker? I'm your friend. Alright. Not the shot I'm looking for. The shot that I'm looking for. I think we do another shout. It hit two. Did it hit the Berserker as well? No, it didn't. Right, Shredder. I think that's a... No, it's a yellow move. Moving to position. Hello, Sniper. I think I'd like to strike you. Bonk! <laughs> and you're dead. Right, Carl can see the Berserker. Okay, Carl can see the Berserker. I suppose that is true, but... Not the shot I'm looking for. Oh, you really can't see him from here? You scumbag. All right, Aiko, continue your flank for no reason. I guess you might as well take some shots at this guy. All right. 
wasn't negligible damage. Right, what is your shot on this guy? Still not great. You might as well take it. Okay. Do some looting. I'll take it. And we'll move into full cover. Not a problem. I mean, cover doesn't matter right now. I think no one can shoot me. Famous last words. I guess I put an overwatch, like, here, just in case this guy starts running towards me. Repositioning. And I'll move see you fail around. Because you're dead. You can't attack me. The Berserker might have a pistol. He has a grenade. Okay. I see you. I think this guy up here can't shoot. I forgot about this guy, I will admit. I, I was aware there was another assault on the map from the start of the game. And yeah, this guy's just going to run away. And then you don't have action points. Perfect. Right, Shredder. Come for a shredding. We want to remove some armor. And we want to do a little strike. And he's dead. Did they just shout, I need help here? Because you really don't need help here. You're honestly murdering everyone. And they're all dropping their loot at the end of it. Which I do appreciate. Right. Panda. Try and get some revenge on the assault, please. He's dazed, so he's not doing anything. Right. I don't think I can get into position to shoot the Berserker. So he might do some damage here. Come on! That went straight through his brains! <laughs> Robbed. Anyway. I guess Ico can do an overwatch. <laughs> here? See you fail. Can you get a part of the action, please? Overwatch through here. Eric Campbell, you have just been looting so far. Going to full cover. I, I just can't get to this guy right now. But he'll he'll die in like a turn. I think that's my turn. Right, you're dead. You're just panicking. You've actually panicked. And I've died for it. Now, what are you going to do? I have no idea what your plan is. <laughs> it's going to be to be chopped up is the answer. Uh, can I do this with... No, I can't pick up the, the shit here. Oh, actually, there's no shit here. Never mind. Right, you're dead. <laughs> it's so much better. Oh, no, there is loot there. I'm, I'm dumb. God, the game is so much nice when you don't have to aim. Uh, can someone drop a gun, please? That would make this mission very worth it. You might as well stand here. You can get the loot on the next turn. Right, Carl. Might as well put an Overwatch on. I'm an Overwatch. Uh, Ico. I guess Ico could grab this loot as well. Sure. Uh, any more loot? There is, of course there is. Aha! Gun! The Oregon. I want a medkit. 
Oh, you've encumbered me? Uh, I killed my friend. I need to do a little trade with you. There you go. And see you fail, you might as well do another Overwatch. Just in case there's another sneaky nerd back here. I forgot he's dropped the loot, there's no one on the map. Fill your boots, boys! Plunder their corpses. Oh my god, Marduk's fist! 160 with 20, 200 shock. This is 140 with 50 bleed. Oh, baby. We've got an upgrade. Uh, also, we should just start running. Uh, Carl. Man, it's so much more palatable to fight guys like this when they haven't got a 200 HP shield with like 300 armor. You're the guy whose arm I broke. Right. Hello, buddy. The, the disrespect, by the way, just to run at him. Though I guess he's a little bit less fierce when his arm is like hanging off by tendrils don't go off the map I want your loot oh he's gone he's gone Moving to position. right can anyone just get here I don't think they can I don't think I need to evacuate either here. I'm pretty certain if you just get the objective, we're good. Seems like it. Great job, everyone. Uh, two people got injuries. They weren't too bad, though. And we're very close to the Phoenix Point base anyway, so we can just pop back. In the 1960s, the Phoenix Project clashed with an unknown intelligence outfit associated with the CIA. One of these clashes concerned the cultures stored in this lab, said to be responsible for a terrible plague somewhere in what was then called the Third World. At the time of his death, my great-grandfather was trying to force the CIA to at least share some samples, but they denied everything, even the existence of this lab. It looks like the research was abandoned in the late 1970s. I'm not sure why. The samples are degraded, but if my analysis is correct, this is the Pandora virus. Sometimes I wonder whether the only reason we survived as a species is sheer luck. I do think that about some people. <laughs> uh, the... When the facility secured or operatives have carefully retrieved the viral samples that were stored here, they are less than an ideal shape, but preliminary analysis suggests it's extremely likely that we're looking at some version of the Pandora virus. A more rigorous analysis will be initiated immediately. Lots of tech, lots of materials. Excellent. Replenish everything. And what was my new research? I can reverse engineer the Marduk Fist. It does mean I lose the Marduk Fist. Right, you have to burn it to use it. So I'm going to hold off on this right now. We're building another weapon anyway. And I don't need all of the, the melee weapons, right? As good as it is to run around bonking people. Okay, so Panda lost 20 odd health. I'm just wondering if I can keep the people out here right now. Uh, we both, sorry, they both lost like 20 health, Campbell and Panda. 
I've also got a mission here I need to remember. What is this? Oh yeah, other side of the map. We need to complete the research and then the gift. Okay. We're pretty good on the old objective tree then. Ah. One other thing I wanted to do, by the way, and I was thinking about this, it's a bit expensive for this guy. Or girl, sorry. God, you look ill. <laughs> you look like an alien from the Star Wars universe with, like, your hair tied behind your back. It's like a really shitty Leia cosplayer. But yeah, I want another heavy. I've only got one, and... Yeah, I, basically, I've only got one, and they're quite useful, but 316 foods is... Pretty expensive. Can I make one of my bases provide me with more food? Can I get more resources from my bases, I suppose, is what I want to ask. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe it's something I can do? Uh, no. I don't think I need another trading facility. The research lab. Hmm. I mean, I can trade for the food. It's just... Do I want to actually trade for the food, I guess? And I'm already at a... A minus on food before adding another person. I think I will grab them, though. I will trade blue. And I need like 200. Let me grab 300. As I need to also be able to feed my people going forward. So we'll grab you. You went to Phoenix Point 1. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot to assign you to the, the base I wanted you to go to. And we now have another heavy. Excellent. So we'll kit you up. And we're definitely ready now to get another aircraft. I think that is the thing we should endeavor to do next. Possibly. It, it, <laughs> it's close between grabbing this, but we've got eight days on it, so I'm, I think I'm willing to wait. Maybe I do the Dreamers Awaken and get new Jericho's stuff started. Alternatively, we do steal the energy from... Some Egyptian and just make them hate me. Stop a, the dreamers awake and stop a rampaging group of soldiers. I'd be so annoyed if I lose units here doing this. I guess I can also swap some people out because I don't need three snipers in this squad. Although they're pretty good against heavy units now that I mention this. So maybe I do drop Eric Campbell off at Phoenix Point. And let's bring Marion Acosta. And now we're way better place to deal with these guys. Okay. I I'm in. Where's the gun I just grabbed? Was it... It was this, right? The Urgen MG... Whatever it was called. Give me some ammo. Give them a med kit. Give them one of these. You should probably wear armor. Uh, I think they're the same. <laughs> yeah, they're all the same. Right, you can wear Golem B then. Alright, that... That's actually a pretty good look. I like that. I don't even think I want to change the colors of it. Cool. All right. I, I think I'm just going to go straight into it. So we're going to do the new Jericho mission, finally. Uh, they have strange dreams, and we need to stop the soldiers. Last time I did this mission, I lost a unit on it, which is why I've been putting it off. I didn't do this mission the last time with level 4s. I guess we have one level 1. And I've got a better idea of how the game is played. So hopefully this is not too bad.
Also, maybe we can loot the, their stuff, because New Jericho have got some pretty, pretty good stuff normally. Namely, like, heavy armor. Okay, kill all enemies. Roger Dodger, that can be done. Now, I think it's the same map, actually, that it was last time, and I ran it in here and just got blown away. Therefore, I don't think I'm going to do that again this time. I'm going to take a more cautious approach and go through the front gate instead, rather than through the windows. Marion does have Jet Jump, but let's not use it just yet because she hasn't got the Shout ability. Panda has Shout, which will be very, very useful in this mission. And you have an Axe, which again is going to be pretty useful in this mission, I think. Oh, I didn't bring out the Bonk Hammer with you. No, I left the bonk hammer back at base. No. Oh. oh well, we've got the bonk axe instead. Man, Panda, you're actually pretty quick. Did I put a bunch of your stats into speed? Seems like something I would do. Uh. Okay, I think I'm okay with where I'm at right now. I could, you might as well do an overwatch over here. I don't think there's anyone here, but... I guess I should have had Carl overwatch the other way as well. Well, there they go. If I can just funnel them to come out the front gate... Surely that is a pretty good position for me. To send them through a choke point. There, there is a distinct lack of cover here, though. But I can jet jump the heavies onto the roof. Easy enough. Okay. Marion. Take a look. What's in here? They're alerted. It is Madman. <laughs> he has returned fire. That's the only thing I need to remember. He's an assault. Where is Panda? There's Panda. You two are going to do a little jet jump action. And I might put you behind them. I don't trust this full cover. I feel like this is a full cover that I'm not going to be able to shoot over. Maybe I should even take here. No, let's take here. No, let's take here. We can move next to him if I need to move. This should be able to be a good shout. Perfect. So he's now like stuck in the courtyard. Oh, I can't get behind that. Zoot a law. Okay, Carl, get into position. Aiko, get into position. See you fail. I think you get the picture. And my last person is Paul Shredder Yeah. You get into position, just charge into the base, I suppose. Uh, and then just in case someone does flank you or this guy runs through the door, I'll put an overwatch here. I'm pretty certain this guy is just going to have a panic attack, though, and not know what to do. All right. 
there was someone on the flank. And you went back into the base. That makes sense. Okay, we need to send some people to deal with this nerd. And I think that might be Shredder. Double dash and just smack him. What's your health? It's going to be lethal. Hopefully there's no one else back here. Otherwise, big sad times are about to be had. Alright, we're safe from the big sad times. Pull out your axe. Armor break. And... Bonk! He's dead. Beautiful. Alright. Now we start shooting at these guys as well. I've got the wrong gun selected. My bad. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll get a bit of shredding here. I meant to use the sniper rifle. Okay, we shredded four armor, I think. Right, what can you see? The, you can see the guy. Can we take out his arm? We can take out his torso. That's better than his arm. Health? 12. So he's going to live this turn. Unless... Wait, there was a guaranteed kill in here? Just just take it. Okay, we got him. That lowers the will points. That's great news. Now, Panda, you're going to do another war cry because there's a guy underneath me. And I actually don't know what I want to do with you. To tell you the truth, maybe drop you and just punch this guy. But he's just going to punch you back. Because I think he can brawl as well, maybe. Shoots back at any when it attacks. Does that include melee? I don't know. I think I'm just going to do... Maybe do this. Because there is a guy over here somewhere. Okay. All right, Carl. Equip the correct gun this time, buddy. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. So he's stunned, I believe. Yep. I still think I would like to get the kill, though. Just for will point reasons. Alright, what do they have on them? They had some ammo. I'll take it. My ammo now. Right. So, I know there's a person in here. Can I get into the building from this side? I guess I can go through a window. You didn't need to open the door there, Strider. Could have left that close and not let them know where you were. But I guess he wants a fight. I might as well dash. I've got will points to burn. I really wanted to get to that tile. So we noticed the guy here. He's probably coming out the main gate. Let's try something like this. 
And hopefully if someone comes out this door, we'd still catch them. Can you have the tightest Overwatch spread I've ever seen? And just shoot anyone that comes through this door. And then see you fail, I think it's the same thing, Overwatch into this door. Just wait for him to come out to me. Okay, he is coming out this side. Oh, you don't want to be there. You don't want to be in a tight room with Shredder. Right, Panda, go and pick up their loot, please. I don't know if I get to keep it, so... I'll take your ammo. I'll take your ammo. Shredder! Hello. He's dead. I think. Yep, he's dead. Cool guys don't watch people bleed out. Can anyone grab the kill? I guess Aiko might be able to. Just to save a little bit of time here. And destroy their microwave. Brilliant. Probably another new fact. It was a bit too big to be a microwave. Although on a, an army base, I imagine they would have industrial-sized microwaves. Assuming, you know, the, they bring microwaves with them, which I suspect they don't. Hence why they have, like, the army ration packs. Anyway, we've got some people leveling up to five. Pretty cool. Honestly, not as bad as I thought that mission was going to be. I had always assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day, even after Symes disappeared. It seems to be the defining pattern of your history. Fall, rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make. After all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. <laughs> I choose to be one with the freaks. Okay. So... Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. We've seen this before. Uh, so they like me a little bit more. They give me a ton of materials. Thank you very much, Tobias West. Nice doing business with you. We grab a few levels. Okay, so Carl. Why did I not give you the new class? I can give you... Sn oh, maybe it's because... I'm dumb. <laughs> could I not afford it? Maybe I couldn't afford it. I'll give you sniper training to give you the sniper quirks. And perks. And I think we grab Master Marksman. It's such a nice ability with the snipers. I will spend my Phoenix point points for this. So you're like my number one ace sniper now. Then C you fail, who did take a little bit of damage. I think you take Master Marksman as well. Which means you can't afford that anymore, which is fine. I don't think I want you to have Reckless. That seems pretty stupid. I guess... Giving you more speed is the winner's choice. Oh, and actually, can I give you the, the Pythagoras? We just built one, right? I can. I pulled out the wrong thing. Whoops. So you can take a Pythagoras. And we still have one on reserve. Which, again, I think should potentially go to Carl. I'm happy with this as well. Okay. So we've got two Pythagoras on this squad. We could make one more, because I, I wouldn't mind. Like, we have two snipers in this squad as well. And I'm, I'm definitely going to be looking soon to... 
to grab another ship. We've definitely got enough people now to run two ships. Healer. 13 bonus healing and plus 2 willpower. Bonus accuracy and lowest damage. It might be good on a sniper, honestly. So I do less damage, but... I'm more likely to hit. And we could target some really... Good shots for ourselves, like... You know, headshotting someone if they have lots of armor on the torso. I think I might grab Cautious. I don't know about healer. I don't feel like I need it. Also, I can't afford it, but... I didn't really even consider it. All right, where are we in the old manufacturers? We're making the Dagon's Tooth. We're actually making another Pythagoras, so I'll hold off on making another Pythagoras. Do I want an Iconoclast? Do I have anyone that can use a shotgun? Any shotgunners out there? I mentioned this at the, the last episode that I wanted someone to have a shotgun. Uh, apologies, by the way. I don't recognize the symbol for that off the top of my head. It's this one, right? Yeah, close quarters. So Shredder can learn it, but doesn't have it yet. You have it. Barra has it. So there is a reason to make a shotgun. And <laughs> Action Man has one as well. Okay. I'll, I'll manufacture a shotgun then. And a mag. Cool. So I think we'll pop back to Phoenix Point now to rest the person who got injured. See you fail. I think you're going to drop back to Phoenix Point for a second. Oh, and Barra also got a level. You can't afford your new class option. What? What? Oh, I can't even see it, really. I'll hold off then on your points. Who shall I bring into the squad then for see you fail? Uh, I guess we can do light for light and bring in another sniper. Cool. And we'll definitely send this squad out again. Okay, what is next on my list of things to do? Gift is eight days, so I kind of want to wait on that a little bit longer. But I don't want to just twiddle my thumbs and do nothing. That's what we did last time when we lost because of it. Maybe I should go and access the base up here at Phoenix Charlie. Or maybe I should go into South America. Or I should go and raid the ship now. Should I go and have to making friends with New Jericho? Should I go make enemies with New Jericho? You don't have a ship here. Where is this ship going to and from? Oh, interesting. They have Gauss technology. I could trade research with them. Wait, do my friends have that? Maybe they just give it me. It was this one, right? I mean, trees. Let me move over here. Also, we've made the Dagon's Tooth now. So, Shredder. Enjoy Dagon's Tooth. And... Where's Danny Mitchell? Danny Mitchell, you can take the... Do you want the axe or do you want the bonk hammer? You can take the bomb camera, enjoy it. It really is a bomb camera. Right, so where am I? I'm I'm here. Oh, I'd have to rage for it, so they won't trade with me because I'm not friends with them. Gauss technology feels like it's the next tier of guns. Do I raid New Jericho for their technology? I don't think it's the thing I want to grab f Well, maybe it is the thing I want to grab first. Maybe fuck the ship. At least fuck the ship for now. In fact, I could just make one, maybe. Can I? 
1,200 resources. It's expensive. I'm close to being able to afford one, though. But that ship is so much better. I I'm keeping my eye on you. All right. New Jericho. Oh, this is the Gauss Research, right? <laughs> okay, never mind. It's a Gauss Assault Rifle. Okay, we don't need the research. How many of these do I want? Give me like... Give me like three. To test the waters. Excuse me. Why is personnel flashing? Oh, have I got new recruits? New recruits just dropped. Uh, a sniper heavy. I am good, thanks. I'm already eating myself out of house and home. Okay, can I raid your ship? Steel aircraft. Yes. Okay. This was an epic mission last time. I think we're going to be doing it again. I probably shouldn't bring Marion Acosta with me. I didn't even think about it. I, I need my strongest of strong people to do this. But I'd be wasting time if I went back. All right. I, here's what we're going to do, YouTube. I'm going to drop a scum save here, just in case I really fuck this up, but I'm going to try not to. Uh, and I'm going to leave it here for this part. For Twitch, we'll probably do this mission, and then that might be the end of the stream. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, YouTube, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.